So, the total energy within a substance, the internal energy, is the total kinetic energy of the particles and the potential energy between the... Hey! Are you falling asleep again? <laughs> this is like, what, the fifth time this hour? Get up, you lazy bum! What time did you even sleep last night? Wow. And I thought I had a messed up sleep schedule. You were up watching YouTube videos again, weren't you? What do you even watch or listen to so late at night anyways? <sighs> Never mind. I don't even want to know. I've explained thermal physics to you repeatedly for the past 30 minutes, and you haven't even written a single word down on that worksheet. Yawning like I'm talking. Hey, look at me. In the eyes. Yes, in the eyes. Ah, so you are awake. Good. I could print more worksheets for you if you like. Ah, that's what I thought. Do you want to move on? We could work on the engineering physics unit next. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, so now you want to move on to English literature? This morning we started with English, then we did math, chemistry, physics, and now English again? And I told you, you shouldn't have picked your classes based on the person you found cute a month prior to the opening of school. Do you still like them? That person? What does the silence even mean? We've been friends for like forever. I can't believe you never told me who it is, or at least show me a picture of what they look like. I'm starting to believe this person doesn't exist, and you're just bad at choosing what subjects you're going to take. Oh well, at least you have me in all of those classes. Yes, be grateful. Remember our last math test? If I didn't call you that morning, you would have slept in until lunch. Bet. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. You know I didn't mean it like that. Hey. Believe in yourself more. I know you did your best. You studied really hard for that test. I saw you. And I can guarantee a hundred percent you won't fail. Hmm. I know you feel better when I pat your head like this. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm being honest. You worked really hard, and you probably overslept because you were worrying so much about failing. Really. You're smarter than you think you are. Don't put yourself down so much. If it means anything, I believe in you. And if you need any help, I'll be here for you. Always. Yes, I canceled a study session on you last minute, but that was once. Once. It won't happen again, for sure. I couldn't help it. You know how my body acts up under stress? Yes, I'm taking better care of myself now. But as should you. Okay, okay. 
you're distracting me again. Let's get back to English. So, tell me. What is the author trying to imply about the character at the first stanza of this poem? We've gone over this. The love interest. The author used this metaphor to compare the character's feelings to that of the main leads. A beautiful mask. They feel the same way, but one of them is actively trying to conceal their emotions. They don't want to give the other character false hope. Oh. What do I think? Well... I guess it's kind of... touching? Personally, I wish they were more straightforward with how they both feel. <laughs> Could save a lot of pages. But I understand why they would feel the need to try to hide them. You agree with the main lead? Interesting. Hey, despite how you see me constantly studying, I do know a thing or two about romance. Yeah, I do. I... I mean, I haven't had as much experience as you in the dating scene. But you tell me things. I've heard around. Felt things. Thought of them. <laughs> Have I thought about it? Like making up romantic scenarios? To fall asleep? <laughs> well... <laughs> we are humans, after all. I'm sure you do it as well. Don't deny it. So, out of curiosity, do you think of anyone before you sleep? Oh. That crush. Right. So when are you going to tell me who it is? Actually... It's all right. Tell me whenever you're ready. I'll figure it out eventually. Hey, you seem tired. To be honest, we've done a lot of studying. Let's wrap it up for today. Good job for staying awake until now. You should get some rest. I'll clean up the table. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you can rest your head on my shoulder. Go ahead. I'm so proud of you. Alright? I know studying isn't for everyone. But seeing you taking the effort to come all this way to study with me at the library, that's already enough for me. You really deserve some rest. It's okay. No one's watching us. You don't have to be embarrassed. Yeah. Just close your eyes. I'll play with your hair just a little bit, if you don't mind. Mm hmm. I'll wake you up later. Just sleep for now. Sleep well, my precious. <laughs>